guys, Ghost here. Today we are back in Off Road Outlaws RP. We're doing some RP, uh, but we are back in Off Road Outlaws. Got the old Ford here. Got it hooked up. I have came to a conclusion. Don't have a gooseneck <laughs> and a flagpole. Luckily, we got one of those flagpoles that it just it almost like it glides through a trailer, but actually bends over. Or it just snaps in half and snaps back as soon as it, yeah, well, it's some jank stuff. I'll just say that. But anyway, today, we're going to go pick up a first gen. Now, I'm not, I don't think it's actually a uh, Cummins, but we'll probably swap it, maybe hood stack it. Looks a little rough. It's been used around the farm and stuff, but I've got my, my gooseneck because it's, uh, it's like a, not extended cab, but... I guess it would be extended cab. Uh, yeah, extended cab's not really a crew cab, but extended cab. Um, so it wouldn't fit on my regular trailer, but we are going to go pick it up. I got to <laughs> remember which way the woman said. She said there's going to be a trailer park, so I'm guessing that's the trailer park to her left. Maybe. That's the only trailer park. Said there was going to be like a concrete road or something to come up on. I'm not seeing anything. Once I get the truck, I'm going to take it back to my garage, but I don't think it's that way. And I, I don't know. Um, that's where we dropped off the Ford Raptor at. I see that they, <laughs> they're back on the road with it. What the boy, uh, what the boy's father was like. I'm gonna let you drive my truck again. We're looking for a concrete road. Ah, oh. is this it? That's either that or a speed bump or concrete pipe. I'm not for sure. <laughs> uh, that is holy crap. I guess it's concrete. I'm guessing this is the, the way. We're looking for a red. Oh, is that it? I think that is it. It is. Sweet. It looks a little bit rough around the edges, but I think it will be a great project truck. I mean, it's not a barn find, but we did. I mean, it's a first gen. It's like it's the holy grail of like Dodges, really. Let's go ahead and I think we're going to go talk to a woman and then hopefully we can get it. I mean, the price is right. The truck seems like it's doing pretty good. Sounds good. It's not a diesel, though. We're going to have to make it. We'll, we'll, we'll come and swap it and everything, but I mean. It's got to reverse and everything. We'll get a new transmission for it, but. Seems like it's doing pretty good. Looks like it's got different color front and rear rims on it. They said it's been on the farm all its life, so. Hey, she's got a little flex. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's like we're buying a. Like. Like a little barn find. I love this truck though. This thing is nice. Alright, well, let's take it back to our trailer. Let's see how fast we can get this thing up to. Hopefully the speed off is right. And three, two, one, go! Go, baby, go! Alright, well, 45 man. <laughs> we don't have that good of brakes, but See, now, be my luck, that would be the truck we'd get, that one over there buried in the ground, but this seems like it's going to be a cool project. We'll throw some tin and windows and stuff on. We're going to get ready to put it on the truck, and then we're going to head back to the garage and hopefully build this beautiful thing. I'm going to have to back it up. i got to flip the ramps down. Got it loaded, and we are now on our way back to the house. Hopefully I can make this turn here. I really don't know what kind of style we're going to go for. Do I want to go for a style like this or... I do know it's going to be my new pulling truck. 
because it does have a little bit larger cab so I can put stuff there or if I need to sleep I can just recline the seat back just a little bit and I just feel like it's going to be a good truck come on I'm going to have to throw it in low there we go rolling the coal next up air garage Alright, so we are back at the shop. So what we want to do is, I mean, I kind of like the paint job, just that old school, but I don't know yet. I think we're going to put a, what kind of bumpers can we do? I'm, I'm going to kind of leave it stock because I really like how it looks. No, I don't want the fender flares or anything like that. We can make it a dually, but... We can actually cut the fenders. I really don't want a dually either. It would be good though because we are, I don't know, we will be hauling with it. So that would always be good. I really don't want a flatbed. I like the, the regular style. Um, don't need an exoskeleton cage or anything. That's actually pretty cool. Don't need running boards. I mean, we could probably do a, uh, a light bar, but I don't know. It's like, I really don't know what to put on. I know we need a winch. We got to have the winch. Not really want that. What, a, what else? Can we, uh, we got to have the hood stack. I wish we could... Uh, have a little bit smaller of a hood stack. The thing's massive, but gotta have the hood stack. Gotta have. I think we're gonna do real bright lights. We gotta have the gun. You know we gotta have the gun. Yeah, America. And then I don't know. Do I want a dually? Do I need a dually? It will look pretty good, like lifted. Think we're going to do the dually. Let's apply the mods. We got to go back. We got to get. I kind of want to leave it the same. I like the rust style. But I need to check. Let's see what kind of rims do we want. Um. I kind of like those. If we did chrome. Like a, a black crane will look good. I know it's like. I kind of like the, <laughs> the regular style. So let's just do the regular style. We don't have any beads or bead locks. Yeah we do. These actually have bead locks on them. No they don't. I think it just makes it look a little bit bigger. Alright so. We're going to do that one for the front. I want to get the same rims we have. Back here. We'll do chrome. Then we're gonna do that. Wait, did we do okay? Now up here, do we do the B lock as chrome also? There we go. Alright, so we got the rims, tires, I'm thinking something maybe like mud grapplers or something like that. I can't see what kind of style these are. Um, I don't know. Do I want to do grapplers? I kind of like the tires we have on it, but I don't know. I think this will be going to be the fifth one over, so let's do the fifth one over. Alright, so that's the fifth one over. Alright, so we need dualies. <laughs> we got dualies. We'll have to move the tires and stuff out we gotta have our American flag we gotta have it so I want to make it a little bit smaller 
Yeah. Um. Let's see, I think I might tilt it a little bit. We can actually tilt it like that and move it over some because it's got to go toward the back. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to tilt it too, too much. Let's see, is that good? I don't want it showing through the bed, the actual uh, pole itself. There we go. And then, extra flags. No, see, I want that one. That works for me. And we're going to go back. Uh, 18,000. Not bad. All right, so we need to do <laughs> the wheels and tires. Actually, I think we need a lift first. Let's go ahead and put the suspension. I do want to put a, you know, decent size, you know, axle and stuff. Let's see. Can we change the actual look? Let's see. Where was, okay, there we go. It's been a while. <laughs> Don't want that. I want like a heavy duty style. We could do something like that. It's like four link style. I think we're going to do that. And then on the rear, we're going to do the same. I don't know. I kind of like that. But we are... We could do like... No, it's like a monster truck style. Solid axle. I think this is what we're going to use. Because basically it matches the front. I want to do... Heavy duty. How much is the front if we did a heavy duty? Gold only. I think we're just going to leave the small. We'll, we'll get more gold eventually. I do want to lift this. I shouldn't have bought the other stage of the axle. We kind of lost a little money. Alright, so. Axle width for the rear. The tires have to stick out. Just a little bit. Stock style. Travel. I think right there would be pretty good. I don't want to... What's the... Okay, we can't change the axle. Brake type. We don't want that. I think we're good. I think we're good back here. We can change how we want the shocks to be. We don't want them because they're going, that's going to be in the tires. Well, they're in the tires now. Well, that kind of sucks there. Uh, <laughs> um, we're just going to have to leave it like that. And for the front, the axle width, we've got to get a little bit bigger. I think that's pretty good. Axle type, we can't do. Oh, uh, axle type, we can change it. All right, so we want to lift it. We want to try to make it pretty good all right so that's pretty good there we might as well go all the way if we're already doing that okay is the front okay the back needs to come down just a little bit a little bit because we'll always have a trailer hook to it so that's pretty good there now we've got to do the wheels and tires which i'm going to do full blown maxed out for it so we can adjust it how we want uh front Let's see wheel radius I'm thinking right there's pretty good oh man I didn't want to what's the front what do we do with the wheel radius 1.2 and we want the back to be about 1.2 to kind of match it there we go feel like the rear tires need to be out just a little bit bigger I don't want I don't like really wide style tires there we go <laughs> um, I'm thinking about 1.3 no 1.2 1.2 okay there we go right before it hits 1.3 There we go. Wheel width. I 
feel like about right there would be pretty good. Now for the rear, I don't want it to be too top, too wide because it already is, you know, wide itself. But I wish I could move. Can I move the? I don't think I can actually move the actual just the tires out itself without the axle. So we might have to make the axle just a little bit bigger. I've not really done a big dually like this, so. I feel like right there would be good. This thing's a freaking monster. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um. Looks like it does pretty good. Woo! <laughs> So we're going to lay it. That's actually pretty good flex. I mean, for a big dually, I like it. I think we're good on that. Um, we got to go back. We got to go to upgrades. Definitely got to do that. So we got to use our gold. Thank goodness we saved some. So we do that and. I feel like we've got to use rest of our money for that. We don't have any money to paint it, but I really don't know if I want to paint it. We got to de rust it. <laughs> de rust, be gone. Looks like we have a little bit of damage there or something right there. I don't know. What color? Should we paint? That's the thing. Um, I do like a really pretty orange. That's actually pretty cool. When a little bit of window tint. I like it. Ah, uh, we can. We can do it. <laughs> We're making what we got work. This is a monster of a truck. I hope it's going to do pretty good. And we're going to try to do a little time. It looks like the truck, the trailer is pretty level. I like it. We might have to do some stiffening to the rear though because I want the truck to actually sit, you know, level when it's actually loaded. And we don't have to really have to worry about it turning over because the truck's almost like as wide as a trailer. I absolutely love this thing. Let's see. Let's see how good it is. Let's lock it in. Let's see how good we can actually flex. Now, we ain't got no... Oh, my gosh. That is, <laughs> that is the truck right there. That's that's pure flexing right there. We don't have a lot done to the motor, so we'll definitely have to do that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you punch that subscribe button. This is Ghost, and I will see you back next time for some off-road outlaw RP. And with this beautiful, beautiful first gen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> America. Yeah.